Γεια σας φίλοι μου, or hello my friends. Today we will talk about a commander that I never thought I would be interested in. We will talk about Russell. Russell's awakening was eagerly expected by the Cav players, but in a surprising twist it turned out to be interesting not just for them, but for many of us. So let me show you all about Russell. Here is Russell in the tavern. As you can see, he's hungry because he is one of the meat consumers. And his tavern, without being exceptional, is pretty good. He used to have two stars in command and three stars in combat rate. And uh, if he gets two stars, which apparently I have given him, he goes to three stars for command and four stars for combat rate. It's uh, very rare to find a good source for combat rate, especially in the F2P commanders. So for that reason alone, I would say that the two stars in Russell would be well spent. This is a surprise for you, isn't it? Me having a CAF commander for star. But I will explain why. First of all, let's look a little bit at uh, Russell's stats. Russell, on his own, he used to have stone production, which was 100%, and now with the three stars it went to, one, to 160%. He had cav attack at 30%, which went to 48%, and he also had the building construction speed, from which from 20% it went to 32% with the three star ability. The main issue with Russell is to see what the abilities he brings. So he has a decent cav attack, but does he bring any more abilities that will be useful to a cav player, especially an F2P? F2P cav players they were lacking a lot in commander, so it is very interesting to see if Russell will have anything to bring something to their lineups. So let's look at his awakening. In the hidden abilities, we see that uh, he's not that great because he doesn't add anything to the cav attack and all he brings is a cav defense, which Russell didn't have previously, for 18%. The rest is just stone production by 18%, city stone capacity by 12% and stone gathering speed by 6%. So the, all of this will bring his totals to the following numbers. He has the building capacity for 32%, the stone production goes up to 178%, the stone capacity is 12%, the stone gathering speed 6%, cav defense 18% and the cav attack 48%. So now a cav player that is considering Russell to boost his uh, stats, he should make a comparison between Rob and Meryl to see if he's worth it. But frankly for me, any stats you can get in the calf direction, I think it's probably worth getting him. Because uh, we have Rob that has uh, calf attack 18% and calf health, calf defense 66%, while Meryl, he has a good calf attack for 64% and calf health. 64% also, but cav defense 18%. We have here a decent source for a cav attack, 48%. So probably if I was an F2P cav player, I would get Russell in my lineup just to boost my stats a bit. So why on earth did I four star him? Do I care about stone production this much? No. And I'm not a cav player as everyone knows. The reason of course is his four star ability. Let me show you his four star ability that was a very interesting one. God of War Blessing. You get total health 3% for every 4 star male commander that you own. So if you have 10 commanders, which is the maximum, you get 30%. And this is a passive bonus, which is pretty fantastic. A passive stat that you can have uh, and health which applies to everything. Personally at the moment I'm 21% because I have 7 commanders. And if you are wondering, Yes, uh, Russell himself counts in one of these uh, four-star male commanders, which is good. And also, if you proceed from now on to four-star male commander, it will be added up until you reach the 30%. So, this uh, skill doesn't work uh, counting the commanders that were awakened by the time you awakened Russell to four stars. It will act retroactively and count every male commander you four star in the future. For me it was worth it, I don't know what you think. It was a very nice uh, bonus that I didn't expect to receive from a cup commander, so thank you Russell and thank you all for watching.